First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says that for uh, the adversary, the devil, amen, the adversary we are talking about here is the devil. The Bible says he is rolling like a lion seeking whom he will devour. The adversary we are talking about is the devil. But you know what? The devil works with spirit, hallelujah, Amen. who are called demons. And demons have no right to operate on this earth without a body hallelujah it is so much important for every child of god to understand this devil has agents who are called demons principalities they are powers hallelujah Hallelujah. who work to intimidate god's children and so these demons before they can operate they need a body a body of people hallelujah people who avail themselves they will come and live reside within them. Demons as children of God cannot possess us. Hallelujah. Demons can suppress and torment children of God. Demons can oppress children of God. Let us understand. So the Bible says that even though we walk in the flesh, the battle of our warfare is not carnal. It says it is mighty in God in pulling down every stronghold. It says casting down argument and every high term that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of God. So you have have to understand that he is not a man like you and I. He has power like the widow and the judge. The judge has power and God knows that we cannot fight that demon, fight that principality. And so he says, call on me. An act of calling. Jesus. An act of calling on God is to invite him to interfere in the affairs of man. It doesn't matter who you are. If you don't call on God, he will not interfere in your affairs. He will not intervene. If you don't call on God, he will not come and help you. The Bible says, and God said to Abraham, I will send your descendants unto Egypt for four hundred years. As the time approaches, nobody stood in to pray. Hallelujah. Nobody saw the four hundred years pass. And the people were still in bondage. And until Moses four hundred and thirty years, they spent thirty years in bondage due to lack of prayer. Due to prayerlessness. The people stayed thirty more years in bondage. What does it mean? It means that you and I, when we fail to pray, it doesn't matter how often you come to church. It does not matter how often you read your Bible. You have to pray. There is a place in Christian life that reading the word of God is. And there is another place that prayer takes. Hallelujah. Reading the word of God is good. But you need to pray to move the hand of God in your situation. When you read Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 and 13. The Bible says the angel appeared. But before the angel appeared, when you go to Daniel chapter 9, when you start from verse 3, the Bible says Daniel searched through the book. It was the book of Jeremiah. That God, through Jeremiah, prophesied to the people that they will go in bondage for 70 years. And as Daniel searched through the scripture, he realized that our time of deliverance is close. Our time of healing is close. What did Daniel do? Nobody told Daniel to pray. Even God has said it, so he should take it like a bebe mo. We sing a song like that, what can a bebe mo? And you don't pray about it, nothing shall happen. Bible says, as one man Daniel, I love this one, one man Daniel, the whole prophecy was about the people of Israel. Daniel stood in for the people of Israel. The Bible says he prayed for the whole nation that God 
deliver your people. God deliver your people. God deliver your people. And the Bible says in verse 12, chapter 10 of Daniel, he said the angel came and said, Daniel, the very first day you began to pray, the Lord heard you.